I will speak to my own experience because I never want to come on and act like I'm the world's bestseller. I made every, every mistake in the book. And this is one I see very, very frequently, which is being enamored by like a demographic stat about your, your customer. So that could be like, for us, it could be like, wow, this, this organization has a thousand sales reps. That's going to be my big priority right? Or this organization has this many FTEs if you're selling something else where that matters, right? So I think demographics are great for eliminating bad fits. They're not sufficient for finding good fits. And so where I go instead is to say, instead of just focusing on the world's biggest sales organizations, which by the way, everybody else is focused on, um, think about, again, the problem that you solve and who can you find that has evidence that that problem may be occurring? So I call it more like problem-focused prioritization, where I'll give you a great example. Like in, when I was selling Challenger in the middle of the pandemic, Zoom was on paper one of the best potential prospects ever. Massive sales organization, massive revenue size, like all the great things in a demographic sense. But Zoom had no issue with demand. And Challenger was largely about how do you create demand? And so I could have spent all day long prospecting Zoom, writing all sorts of messages, but my messages would never really land because they don't have, they didn't have the problem that we faced. We could make some stretch argument like, oh, well, you'll see it in two years, but people weren't worried about two years from now in the thick of COVID. They were worried about like five minutes from now. So I think be very mindful of what are the triggers or evidence points that would suggest someone might have the problem you face and find those things. So for us at Lavender, it might be, hey, they laid off 20% of their SDR team. Like that might suggest they weren't seeing productivity from their SDR team. Now the SDRs that le are left are carrying a much larger load. They're going to have much higher targets. That's a problem that Lavender can help with, right? But just looking at an organization saying you've got a thousand sales reps, it's just an insufficient, I think, measure to finding good people to spend your time when you're um, full cycle.